Butler now known to have died after a campsite in the Pyrenees was smothered in mud in flash floods. The authorities say at least 80 people are still not accounted for and the death toll is likely to rise as the rescue work goes on. 14 Britons were registered at the camp. Some have been injured, but there are no reports that any Britons are among the dead. The campsite was at Briescas in northern Spain. It lies in the foothills of the Pyrenees. Over the last two days, the area has had heavy rain, and last night the campsite was overwhelmed by the water coming down off the mountains. The floods came without warning, a torrent of mud and rock pouring from the surrounding hillsides, bringing death and destruction in its wake. The Bergen de las Nieves campsite was submerged within seconds, holidaymakers given no chance to escape. Tents and caravans were swept away, several belonging to British tourists staying on the site. Many people talked about being overwhelmed by a tidal wave of water, the result of two days of heavy rain. The water was rising, cars were floating, the river was bringing down trees. It was a nightmare you can't imagine. More than 500 rescue workers are taking part in the emergency operation toiling in thick mud. It's a heartbreaking task even for the most hardened of them. Among the dead are many children, carried off by the flood's strong flow. Identification of bodies is proving difficult. Most were discovered without any documentation. Apart from the British families here, dozens from Holland and Germany were also staying on the campsite. The Spanish Prime Minister, Jose Maria Aznar, visited the scene this afternoon, announcing three days of national mourning. I would like to express my most profound condolences uh, to the victims' families and as well my best wishes uh, to the injured and to their families. The survivors are being housed in a local sports stadium. Several say they had to cling to trees to avoid being swept away. The injured, including at least one British couple, are being treated in nearby hospitals. The journey to medical help in some cases was delayed because roads in the region have been cut. Transportation is in chaos. This is Spain's most serious flooding for 30 years. Local residents believe recent deforestation may have worsened its impact. The lack of trees allowed the mud to move more easily. Little was left to impede its progress. The rescue operation is expected to take several days. The authorities fear at least a hundred bodies may still lie hidden beneath a sea of mud. At least 70 people are now known to have died in the flash flood which swept through a campsite in northern Spain on Wednesday. Rescue workers are continuing to search the area near Biescas for many more people who are still missing. Our science correspondent James Wilkinson looks at what could have caused the flash flood and what can be done to prevent a similar disaster. The torrent scarred the landscape. The camping site was simply swept away. Seventy died. Another hundred are still missing. Many may have drowned. Others could have escaped and have yet to come forward. Today, Spanish troops still search the wreckage but say there's no hope of finding anyone alive. One British holidaymaker returned to his caravan. It had caught against a tree, which saved his family's life. My son shouted, we're going to die. And I said, no, we're not, son. But watching the news today, some kids have. But mine haven't. Spanish environmentalists had long argued the campsite should never have been there. The plain floods often in winter, sometimes in summer. But locals claim it was certified safe. This is the best, uh, the best camping in, 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 in Spain and maybe is one of the better in Europa. But was it safe? At the foot of the Pyrenees with hills behind it, the campsite was in a vulnerable position. More rain fell in one hour than on any day for 20 years. It ran off the steep hard slopes, sweeping rocks, trees and debris with it. Much of it piled up behind a bridge. When that collapsed, the devastation was inevitable. It's not just with hindsight that experts now say the campsite was dangerous. One British soil erosion scientist, who has himself stayed there, remembers he felt uneasy about it. It's a particularly dangerous and irresponsible place to build a campsite because inevitably, sooner or later, 
a large volume of water or water and mud will come down that valley, crossing the entire floodplain and wiping out almost whatever is in its way. Many people live with the possibility of flooding. Here in Cornwall, they're prepared for the worst. A siren warns of impending floods to give people time to get clear. In Spain, there was no such warning. No one thought it necessary, no one bothered. Now they've learned the lesson, but too late. James Wilkinson.